Okay, so welcome to chair class. Um, this will be a combination of yoga, strength and conditioning. We will be working on flexibility at the end. What you will need is a pair of dumbbells. And I suggest that you place the pair of dumbbells behind you. So it reminds you not to sit all the way back in your chair because I want you to make sure that you're using your core muscles. The other thing is obviously a chair. It would be preferable if you could use an armless chair, but you know, we'll work with whatever you have. So I'm gonna to start to take you through uh, a yoga warm up, and then we're gonna just go into the body of the routine. So let's begin. So we're just gonna start out by really grounding those feet, having the knees stack over the ankles, shoulders stack over the hips, long through the spine, abdomen engaged, nice tight core, you want the shoulders pulled down and back, chin parallel to the floor. Let's start out by just taking a nice deep breath, inhale, sweeping those arms up, and exhale, pressing down. Again, inhale, press it up. And exhale. Really linking breath with movement. And exhale. We're gonna do just one more. And exhale. So with that breathing, we really want to just try to focus on maybe like a three count inhalation and a three count exhalation. So let's start out by sweeping that right arm up, going into a little side bend, really pressing that right sits bone into the chair, and exhale. Inhale, sweep, and exhale down. Inhale, lift through the rib cage and slowly press it down. Inhale, sweep the arm up. Exhale down. We're going to do a couple more. And each time you're going to notice, you're probably going to get a little bit deeper into each stretch because we're warming up those muscles. And we're allowing the breath to help us get more flexible. Okay, we're gonna add on from here. So, we're gonna sweep the arm up, and then we're gonna take the left arm behind us, and you're gonna take your right arm and place it on the outside of the left knee. And then I want you to just look over your shoulder. So let's take another deep breath, sit up taller in the chair, draw the left shoulder back further, and exhale, settle into your twist. So be mindful to just twist from the rib cage up. And now come right back to center. Take a nice deep breath, inhale, sweep your left arm up, take your right arm behind you, and Exhale as you place your left hand on the right knee. Let's sit up nice and tall, a little bit taller in the chair. Maybe we can get a little bit deeper into that spinal twist. Gazing out over that shoulder. And exhale, bring it back to center. From here, we're gonna go into some cat cow. So I'm gonna turn sideways. You guys just stay right where you're facing because I want you to just see my posture. So we're gonna take a nice deep breath and we're gonna inhale, we're gonna draw the shoulders down and back. We're gonna kind of gaze up a bit. And now we're gonna exhale, we're gonna round the spine, separate those shoulder blades, tuck that tailbone under. Inhale. Lift up, get the length, and then draw those shoulders back and kind of gaze up towards the upper portion of your wall. And now exhale, round that spine. Inhale, lift. Feel that chest expanding. 
and exhale, round. Feel the separation between your shoulder blades, your lower back, and let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift that chest, and exhale, take it down. Okay, we're gonna come right back to neutral alignment. So let's take those arms and let's just sweep the arms overhead and then just kind of grab your shin and just kind of roll the shoulders around the back. Now we're gonna come up halfway. So I want your gaze to be forward and your heart forward. And I want you to retract your shoulder blades back. And exhale down and sweep the arms all the way up and hands at heart center. We're gonna go through that again. I'm just gonna turn sideways so you can get a better view of my profile. So you're gonna sweep the arms up. You're gonna exhale forward fold. Now we're gonna inhale chest, heart forward, gaze forward. So I'm retracting my shoulder blades. I'm pulling them down and back. Exhale, I'm going back down and I'm sweeping my arms back up overhead. Hands at heart center. Really squeeze those palms together, draw those shoulders back. Inhale, reach it up. Let's do this one more time. Now let's gaze forward, heart forward, retract the shoulder blades. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. And exhale, hands at heart center. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna transition into a little bit of ankle rolling. So I want you to lift your knee up towards your chest. Now draw the shoulders down and back. I want you to do five circles one way. Continue to keep that nice tall posture. And now go five circles in the opposite direction. Okay, good job. Take that leg down. So from here, we're gonna take that opposite leg, pull it up towards the chest, pull those shoulders back so you have a nice, tall, long spine, and let's go circle like five, four, three, two, and one. Now reverse it. Five, four, three, two, and one, okay. We're gonna turn all the way to the side of the chair. Shoulders are gonna be forward, hips are gonna be forward, knees and ankles. We're gonna take a nice deep breath and we're gonna pull the leg back, right? As far as you can take it. So the ball of your foot, you're on the ball of your foot. Now, some of you might feel like this is just too much. I, I no, it's too much of a stretch. So you can let your leg hang or you can turn it into a 90 degree angle. Okay, we're gonna come up into a crescent lunge. Okay, so we're gonna come up just like this and we're gonna just be pressing those hips forward. Now, if you don't wanna do that overhead reach, you can always just keep those hands at heart center. So we're gonna take a nice deep breath, inhale, and then exhale to warrior two. So we're gonna turn that foot out. Turn that back foot out so it's at a 45 degree angle. And you're gazing out over the middle finger. You're reaching forward, you're reaching to the rear. Now we're gonna take a nice deep breath and we're gonna slide the hand down the thigh and reach up. And we're gonna hold it here for two breaths. Nice deep breath, inhale, get the length. Exhale, settle into that stretch. Let's do that again. Inhale up. And exhale back to warrior two. We're going to take the forearm and we're going to rest it on the thigh. And we're going to go right into a side angle. So you're really getting a nice stretch. Now, if you notice that your shoulders kind of dropped forward, try to really open up that chest and pull the shoulder back. Take another deep breath, inhale, go back into your worry two as you exhale. And now we're gonna just cartwheel that, the arms back to center. Now we're gonna make our way over to the other side. 
So we're going to go into crescent. Now remember, you can always modify by just taking your knee into a 90 degree angle, or you don't have to go very far back. You can hold your hands at heart center, or you can take it all the way back. So whatever you, your body allows you to do. You don't want to force your body to do something it doesn't, that doesn't feel right. Take a nice deep breath, inhale, and then exhale to warrior two. We're gonna angle up that foot to a 45 degree angle. You're gonna gaze out over that middle finger. We're gonna really reach forward. We're gonna reach to the rear. Take a nice deep breath, inhale, go right into your reverse warrior. Slide your hand back down your thigh, or if you're in that 90 degree angle, just like reach behind the chair. Take another nice deep breath. And exhale back to warrior two. And now you want to take the forearm, rest it on your thigh, reach the arm up into side angle. Take a nice deep breath, really reach out through the rib cage. And exhale back to warrior two. And we're going to cartwheel those arms back to center. And then we're going to come forward. Okay. So you guys should be pretty loosened up from that yoga. And so now we're going to go into a little bit more um, strength cardio based. Okay. So shoulders back. Chest lifted. We're going to just march in place. So march, march, march. Okay, so you really want to really pull the knee up nice and high. Control the arms. Now remember that posture we talked about in yoga. Really nice, long, tall body, tall posture. Really maintain that. Remember what we talked about. Okay, let's go a little faster. One more. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna do toe lifts, okay? Toe lifts are gonna work the anterior tibialis, ready? So you're gonna lift the toes up, take it down. Up, down, up. Now let's add, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Relax the shoulders, five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna lift the heels up. So working more calves. You might have to pull your feet in a little closer to get a nice range of motion. Okay, now we're gonna do an overhead press. Up and down, up, down. Really nice and tall through that spine. Four more. Three more, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna go into our first set of sit stands. So, two options on this. Come all the way up, sit down, tap your butt. Come up, squeeze your glutes, take it down. Option number two. If your knees bother you doing full range of motion, you can do quarter squats, quarter squats. You're hovering over your chair. Okay, I'm going to get my stopwatch here, and let's go 45 seconds. Let's go. Down, up, down, up. Squeeze those glutes. Or you're doing quarter squats. Or at your own pace. Be mindful not to let the knees buckle in. So activate those outer thighs. Okay, we have 15 more seconds. Do whatever you can do. If you need to take a break right now, take the break. We have five seconds. Okay, pick up your weights that should be right behind you. Sit at the edge of your chair. Make sure that your elbows are totally straight. Shoulders are back. Bicep curl. So this is called a hammer curl. 
So curl it up, we're gonna do 10. Exhale, two. Three, control it on the way down. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Okay, you only need one dumbbell for the next exercise. So we're gonna turn, we're gonna go into a lunge position. So you're gonna rest your forearm on your thigh. You're gonna pull your leg back. You're gonna try to keep your shoulders level. We're gonna do a row, just like that, working your back. Ready, we're gonna do 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, exhale, six, inhale. Five, make sure you're breathing on each rep. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent job, let's go to the other side. So make sure your thigh is fully supporting you. Rest the forearm back on the thigh, shoulders level, on the straight. Ready, pull it up, skim your side. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good job. Now, you guys, um, everybody can do a push up. So I need you guys to all go to a final wall, but watch my form first in case you have to move away from the screen. I want you to keep your arms. Um, fully extended, you're an arm's length away from the wall. You, when you're up against the wall, you wanna make sure that your arms above, aren't above shoulder height. They should be around your chest height. You should be about shoulder width apart. You're gonna skim your elbows by your side. Your hips are gonna remain nice and straight and you're gonna exhale and push away. So go find a spot on the wall. Or if you have a nice sturdy solid chair, not like me, cause this thing can go sliding, but I'm, I'm used to this, so. Okay, so keep your abdominal muscles engaged because believe it or not, push-ups actually work your core. Okay, so you're gonna drop the shoulders down and back. Relax the shoulders. We're gonna do 10, nine, eight. Looking straight ahead, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right. Next move. We're gonna do a reverse lunge. Um, I think I'm gonna have you guys um, standing on this one. You're gonna have one dumbbell in your hand. So. You can use your chair for balance. I'm gonna show you two options. Your arms stays loaded at your shoulder. The same leg that goes back, that same arm's gonna overhead press. Now if the weight is too heavy, you can just resist gravity. You can just do this with your arm, okay? So a tap back would be option one. A bend of the knee would be option two, okay? So you wanna make sure that the front knee doesn't go past the toe. All right, we're gonna do 10 of them. Ready, go. 10, nine, if you wanna work on balance, you can hold your arm up. Seven, six, five, four, three, I'm sinking a little bit lower. Two, but you gotta listen to your body. If your knees bother you, don't, don't bend your knees so much, okay? We're gonna do the other side. You can hold on to the chair, you can go to the other side of the chair, you can hold your arm off for balance if you want. So we're gonna go back. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Have a seat. 
And please take water whenever you need to because it's really hot and humid. So you want to make sure you're hydrating. So you're going to grab only one dumbbell for the next move. The next move is called a sledgehammer. So it's as if you are taking an X and chopping wood. So this is for your core. This is where the power is going to come from. So you're going to take that dumbbell, you're going to bring it up and over, and you're going to slice that wood. We're going to do 10 on each side, okay? So you want to watch your back on this one, too. You want to bring it up and around and maintain that neutral spine. You don't want to look like this as you're doing it, okay? You don't want to throw your back up. And if you're worried if the weight's too heavy, you can just mock an axe by interlacing your fingers. All right, we're going to do 10. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and exhale, 1. Make sure you're breathing during each and every rep. Never want to hold your breath. Not good for you. So let's take the arm and go, we're going to go the opposite way. So sweep it up and around and chop that piece of wood. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. We're going to do ten um, jackknives. So there's two options on this one. We can keep a short lever, okay? So that'll be a little bit easier. And we're just kind of doing like a little crunch. It's like a, it's like a sit up with a leg lift combination. Or you can do an actual jackknife that looks like this. So I make my lever longer and that's more difficult. So we are gonna do 10. So remember, the modification is this. This is the jackknife. Okay, and go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, nice job. Next move, we're going to... Kick forward, same leg kicks back, okay? So kick forward, same leg kicks back. Forward and back. Okay, ready? Let's go. This is one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You guys feeling this in your bottom one? And ten. Good job. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side. So we're gonna kick forward, kick back. Okay, bring the arm out if you need to for balance. Or on number three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Okay. Nice job. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do jumping jacks. We're gonna do seated jacks. Okay. So the legs look like this. They're gonna jump wide. They're gonna jump narrow. Okay. Your arms are gonna look like this. We're gonna do ten jumping jacks with the arms to the side. Get ready and go. Ten. Nine. Eight. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, take a short break. The next move is going to look like this. Forward and down. Forward and down. Okay, so front raise. The arms come up to shoulder height. Ready? Ten of them. And go. Ten. Nine. Control the arms. Control the legs. Seven. Keep drawing in those abs. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay. Now we're going to do more of a rotation for the core. So the move is going to be this. So we're going to bring the elbow to the same, uh, to the opposite knee. The other option is to do longer lever. Longer lever is always going to be more difficult. So, 10 on one side, diagonal reach, ready? Go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, modification looks like this, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, take a little posture break. I hope all of you guys are doing good. All right, ready? We're going to do reach, 2, 3, sit up tall, 4, 5, I'm going to shorten my lever, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. We're going to go through this whole thing one more time, but we're going to step it up a notch if you feel like you can step it up a notch, okay? So the first one, if you can remember, was a march. We're going to have the option to you can hold on to your chair if you need to for balance. You can just pump up those arms, okay? So we're going to do this for time. We're going to do this for 45 seconds. Ready? Go. Pump up those arms. Really try to lift your knee up to hip height. Your opposite arm is swinging forward, whether you're seated or you're standing. And you're up controlling the leg. Try not to smash it down. You want full control. We're halfway there right now. You really want to be tall through the spine. Be pumping up those arms, nice strong arms. You have five seconds. Okay, done. Next move, sit, stand, okay? So remember, you have the two options. You have to tap your butt, come up, squeeze your glutes, walk, watching the tracking of the knees, or you can do little quarter squats, okay? 40 seconds, let's do it, come on, let's go. Let's work high so we can get some results. Get stronger. And you'll notice this second set is actually easier because we're all warmed up right now. Keep focusing on the breath. Exhale up, inhale down. 15 seconds. Five seconds, three, two, one. Grab your dumbbells, bicep curls. Now you can do it seated or you can do it standing. So if you don't have any issues with standing, I would try to stand. We do way too much sitting. Okay, so you're in an athletic stance. Shoulders are back, chest is lifted, abdominal muscles tight. Ready, go, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna just need one dumbbell for the lunge. Lunge row. I'm gonna show you option one, and then I'm gonna show you option two. Now, if you can remember, this was option 
one when we did the first round. Option two is going to be the same, but you're out of the chair. You got to work on, you got to use your legs. You got to balance. You have to use your leg strength, but you need to still fold over at your hips because you need gravity to push your arm down so you can work your back. Postural muscle, very important. Ready? Let's do 10. 10. Nine. Exhale, eight. Inhale, seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Nice job, you guys. So if you're seated, you're going to just turn around in your chair. Shoulders are level. All right, let's go. Pull. Two. Three. Abs, abs are tight. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. We're going to do push ups now. Go to your wall butt. I was going to add another element to this. Okay? So, if you're up against the wall, I was going to add a reach. Okay? So, you're pushing up, reaching, pushing up, reaching. Okay? We're going to do this for time. Now you, or you can just do regular push-ups. So we're gonna do this for 40 seconds. So the move looks like this, down, reach, bend, reach. So you're emphasizing one side over another. If you're new to push-ups, just stick with your basic push-up. So you have to stabilize with those abs because you're kind of uneven with that one side. So we're adding a little twist to this. We have 10 more seconds. Should feel very, very warm at this point. Burning some serious calories here. Okay, now we're gonna do a lunge back with the overhead press, okay? So you're either just gonna use no weight, tap back with the arm reach overhead, or you're gonna add a little bit of a lunge, bend the knees a little bit, add the weight if you want. We're gonna do 10 reps, okay? You can work on balance if you want. You can lightly touch the chair. Depends on, you wanna challenge yourself, but make it manageable. So let's do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Okay, good, let's switch. All right, so I'm gonna turn the other way so you can see the profile. All right, ready? And up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. We got the sledgehammer, so I'm going to show you the option in the chair first. Remember this one? Okay, the other option is standing. So remember, if you can stand, I would love to see you stand. So you're going to be in an athletic stance, which is about a shoulder width stance. You're digging your heels into the ground, your knees are bent. You're gonna come around and you're gonna chop that wood. Now maintain that neutral spine because this move is really important. Okay, ready? You wanna make sure that you maintain the neutral spine, which is very important. Okay, we're gonna do 10, ready? 10, exhale, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice, okay. So now we're gonna go the other way, ready? Up and around, slamming. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice, okay, we're gonna do jackknife or crunch. So, 10 on each side. Actually, 10 total. That's what we did, we did 10 total. 
So here's, here are your options. Okay, that's option one. Option two. Now, if you want to do it standing, option three would be here. Notice how I'm flexing my spine and I'm having my elbows meet my knees. So you can do any one of those options. So we're going to do 10 reps total. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7. Notice how I pause for a second. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice. Okay, next one is the kick forward, kick back. So, kick forward, kick back. Okay? So, we can do this standing. Probably you guys might want to hold on though. Okay? So, you're going to kick forward, kick back, step back. Kick forward and back. Okay? Let's do three. Four, five, six. Totally different feeling when you're standing. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Good job. Okay, if you're in the chair, swivel around the opposite direction. Um, maybe reposition your chair if you need your chair for balance. Okay? So, we're going to touch back, front kick, okay? So, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, And 10. Okay, seated Jackson next. We're almost there, you guys. Almost there. Okay, sitting at the edge of the chair, we're going to sit up nice and tall. We're going to do our jumping jacks. Ready? 10 of them. We're going to jump wide now. Ready? And go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Okay, I'm going to give you guys the option to do it in your chair, or you can do an alternating tap. Okay, side tap. We're going to do 10 of them. Ready? Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, obliques. Hitting those obliques. Okay, so this is option one. We did, we had the choice of 10 elbow to knee, 10 longer lever, or I'm gonna have you guys stand up. You can hold on to the chair if you want on one side. You can work on balance. So any of those, is as many different options. So you choose the one that's challenging and manageable. Okay, ready? Let's do one side. Diagonal, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice job. Okay, set up and go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. Please take some water. Okay, we can move the dumbbells um, if you want. Get rid of them. 
But I'm gonna kind of transition into that more stretching and kind of go into some yoga again. Okay, so we're gonna go back into that press and lunge and watch how much better you can sink into this for the hip flexor. So remember, the options are here, here, or all the way back, okay? So, you're gonna have the hands at heart center, or you're gonna reach those arms up. So take a nice deep breath, inhale, relax those shoulders, away from the ears, create space. Now if your left leg is back, you're gonna slowly lower your right hand down to the chair and you're gonna go right into a side bend. So now you're getting more of a stretch up that whole left side. And you're gonna slowly take that arm down and let's go to the other side. So again, you have that option to do the 90 degrees. You could take your leg back slightly, take it all the way back. So you wanna make sure that the shoulders, hips, and um, the knees are all facing in the same direction. We can reach the arms up, relax those shoulders. So start to slowly take your left hand down, keep that right arm lifted and go right into a side bend. And release that stretch. Okay, from here we're gonna sit up nice and tall, sitting at the edge of the chair. Let's draw the left knee to the chest. Take that left ankle, cross it just above the right knee. Now I want you to stay flexed through your foot. So I'm gonna sit up nice and tall in this figure four position. Take a nice deep breath, really lift, lengthen through the spine, let the knee drop down towards the floor. You're in that nice figure four, feeling that stretch in the hip and the glute. Okay, now I want you to just cross above the knee. I want you to reach your right arm up, take your left hand behind you, rotate, and then just kind of take your right hand and press up against the left knee and go into your spinal twist. So you're really sitting up nice and tall. Your back hand is nice and close to you. You're nice and compact. And now you're releasing. Okay, let's draw the right knee to the chest, sit up nice and tall, and then cross that ankle just above the knee, flexing through the foot. Focusing on the breath. Remember, we're going back to that really long breath, three, five seconds in, three to five seconds out. And now we're just gonna cross above the knee. You're gonna take your right hand, kind of put it behind you as you reach up, get the length, get the length, rotate, and then rest your left hand on the right knee. Really lift through the rib cage. And now release. So from here, I want you to just extend your right leg, flex through the foot, Sit up nice and tall and then just hip hinge, hinge forward. So notice how my hands are on my hips because I'm trying to keep my spine lengthened and I'm trying not to round my shoulders forward. So from here, we're gonna bring those arms back and the palms forward and we're gonna continue to hinge forward. So now we're getting a little stretch in the chest, the biceps. Now we're gonna take our hands. Now we can round a little bit, slide the hands down the leg. And so my profile looks like this. And now slowly come up. And then we're gonna switch. So now we're gonna flex the left foot. The knee is gonna stay as straight as you feel comfortable straightening it. Placing the hands on the hips again, we're gonna start to hinge. Hold at the hips. Bring 
those arms back and maybe tuck the elbows closer and externally rotate the shoulders in a Y stretch. It's called a Y stretch. And release a bit, take a nice deep breath. Inhale, slide your hands down your thigh. Feeling that stretch traveling right up the hamstring. Okay, we're gonna come back up. Let's bring those legs nice and wide. We're gonna go into a lower back stretch. So you can do two things. You can rest your chest on your thighs, grab your shins and kind of be supported and relax your head and neck or you can reach towards the floor, let your chest just kind of drop between your legs and just let your head hang heavy. So once you're in that position, I want you to take a deep breath, inhale, get the length in that lower back and now exhale, blow right into that lower back. Feels like it's creating space between the vertebrae. Do it again, inhale. And now exhale. Let's do one more, deep breath, inhale. And now exhale. Now I want you to really come up slowly, one vertebrae at a time, because it's very likely you will get dizzy. So I want you to just take it up nice and slow. So I want you to just take a nice deep breath, sweep your arms up overhead, and exhale down. Again, inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale down. Namaste.